thing that I just want to go over, if, if anybody knows me, I always like to talk about structure. So anytime um, we're talking about puck retrievals, okay, um, these three criteria always have to be met in order to recover a puck successfully. So what are the three criteria? Three criteria are number one, we need somebody on the puck. Okay, so we need somebody who's going to be committed to getting to the puck to create a first touch. So that means either they're they're creating a first touch by getting their stick on the puck, or they're creating a touch in terms of separating the person from the puck um, to be able to create a loose puck. So we need somebody on the puck, so to create that first touch. And then number two, we need somebody to be in close support. Close support to be able to create that numerical advantage in terms of being able to provide the person in the first touch, either a bump support play or a second quick to be able to pick up a loose puck. And then third, we need this lateral support option, okay? And the lateral support option, here's where we're either going to provide the strong side support or the weak side support. And when I, we take a look at this picture down here on the left side of our screen here, okay? Our weak side defense or our D2 is either going to support on the strong side or on the weak side, depending upon what's happening here at the level of the puck, okay? So if we're under hard pressure here in this situation or any kind of a 50-50 battle, we want to support on the strong side of the net. If we have control of the puck in this situation here, now we have the green light to support on the weak side of the net. And the same thing is true even in the neutral zone when we're tracking back on pucks. So here we have a first touch situation where we're separating the person from the puck. We have our first forward coming back to be able to create that second close support in terms of a second quick to pick up puck possession. And now our weak side defender, we either are gonna provide a strong side support, meaning coming to the middle of the ice if we're under hard pressure here, but if we do have strong control of the puck, now we can use the width of the ice here and provide this weak side lateral support, okay? And so what's important with these, this picture is all of these positions are interchangeable. So it doesn't always have to be D1 that's going back for a puck. It could be D2 that's going to create this first touch. This could be, it doesn't always have to be your F3 that's creating this second close support. It could be your D2. These three things are interchangeable, and that's really, really important. So now um, that we've uh, covered some structure.